Wake up. I have a mission for you. One of your favorites. I have a few thorns in my side I want you to get rid of. No survivors. No witnesses. Don't feel you have to live any life to tell the story. Do what you do best. And put that shield to good use. Go make me proud, Taskmaster. What's happening internet? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Adrian aka Fomex Cosplay. If you're new to my channel, I make a lot of cosplay tutorials, fan films, movie and TV reviews, fitness and fandom, and everything else in between. So if you like my content, please make sure to leave a like, comment, definitely subscribe to my channel. Today we're gonna go over how I made Taskmaster Shield from the new Black Widow movie. And without further ado, let's get creative. At this point, you guys already know how this goes. First and foremost, you start by gathering every single reference material you can find. Once you do that, you start sketching out your pattern and your design. I figured that I was gonna make this shield with three separate layers. The first one being the base layer made out of EVA foam. The second being the craft foam layer with the rings. And then the third layer would be the orange T-shape or as I like to call it the propeller shape. The first bit involves making the base of the shield, which I made out of a single EVA foam mat. The dimensions are similar to Captain America's shield. It should be around 2 feet in diameter. To get the rounded shape, I made a makeshift drawing compass out of some yarn and a pencil. This would have worked better if I had the thumbtack to hold the string in the center of the shield, but this did just fine. I just held it down, pencil around it, and then got the round shape. And once I sorted that shape out, I then traced the circle onto a large sheet of craft foam which would serve as the second layer or the ring layers. To get the smaller rings, I started from outside going in. The first ring was about 2 inches from the edge. So make sure that your circles are nice and consistent all around. Next is the ring that gets cut out. I made that an inch thick. Finally, there's another 2 inch ring before you go to the center main circle piece. After that, it was simply a matter of cutting it out. Very easy to just use scissors. Just make sure that you glide it so that you don't get any rough edges. Just let the scissors slide all along there. After that, it was time to cut the center circle from the ring around it. There isn't actually any space between them, it's just to create more texturing. Once that was done, it was time to glue the second layer to the first layer. I just used contact cement and hot glue, which everyone worked. Just make sure you get maximum coverage so that they don't detach from each other and raise awkwardly. I used the heat gun to further stick them together. Once your first and second layers are nice and stuck, it's then time to make the third layer. So I used that which remained of the sheet of craft foam. I once again drew another circle that encompassed the shield. And then I drew my propeller shape on top of that. This would be a lot more precise if I made a computerized template, but I wanted to make this fast. So a lot of this is just freehand, trial and error, size and resize, and just have your scissors handy because you're going to be using them a lot with this project. Once you have your design, once again, it's time to cut, 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 cut. The propeller shapes don't actually go past the last ring. So leave one or two centimeters away from the edge. And that's all three layers set. Once again, just glue that down nice and firmly, making sure none of the craft foam raises up because then you're not gonna have the perfect shape that you're looking for. Once the three layers were set and good to go, that's basically the main assembly done. What comes next is the exciting bit, very experimental. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna need one of those exercise balls, the inflatable kinds. And I learned this technique from Odin Makes, who learned it from someone else, so shout out to both of them. You're going to take plenty of cling wrap and you're going to wrap your shield very firmly and very tightly around your exercise ball. That way, if you leave it stuck for long enough, it's gonna take the shape. Therefore, creating the dome shape we all know and love. Once it's wrapped nice and tight, you then leave it somewhere where it can be exposed to heat and sunlight. And you leave it for as long as necessary, at least 2 hours. Once I was happy, I then cut it out. Crack that egg wide open and then further shape the edges using my heat gun. Just keep pulling the ends towards the center to keep that dome shape. After that, the last bit of assembly is just making the shield straps. You start by making these harness shapes out of craft foam and these will form the base that you stick to the shield at the back to support it. And once you cut those out, then cut slits into them which you can slide your garter through. I'm using elastic so make sure that it has enough give for you to slide your hands through. 
but not enough for it to be too loose for your arm. Once you're happy with the positioning, just glue everything down. Use hot glue, make sure it doesn't stick out, and make sure that you get it as stuck there as possible. That's the shield basically done, but one notable characteristic about the shield is that it's full of battle scars and wear and tear damage, so that's what we have to simulate next. And to do that, you simply take your pencil, you carve your shapes out, and then you start carving in your cracks in using a cutter. Nice and simple, try and make it look like the shield already shattered in several places and was just welded back together. Nice long cracks that look almost vein-like, and then that's it. With assembly done, it's now time to take it outside and paint it. Our first layer will be black rubber spray paint. As usual, get a nice even coating, spray thinly, and spray as far away from the prop as possible. Coat it with as many layers as you need, just make sure to prevent bubbling. After that, I then hit it with silver spray paint. Make sure you cover all the crevices, all the nooks and crannies. We don't want to see any of the base foam color coming out. After leaving it to dry for a few hours, I then brought it back up and further deepened all of the cracks and scars on the shield. Once that was done, it was then time to paint it by hand. I didn't have any orange available so I painted it with bright red and the color wasn't that off actually. You're gonna want to get a nice even coat all throughout the orange area. Make sure it's nice and covered. And then with your last few strokes, what you're going to do is you want that spun look that you get from metal like aluminum alloy. So just paint it in horizontal strokes and make sure that you follow the rounding of the shield. That way it looks like spun metal. Once I did that for the red parts, I then took some silver acrylic paint and I did that for the silver parts as well. After that, it was back outside for a layer of clear coat just to protect the paint and then back Back on top of the exercise ball for further shaping. After leaving it for about a day or so, once I came back, it was good to go. I finally had Taskmaster Shield. It isn't a glorious shield like Captain America's. It's battle tested, well worn, menacing really. And if not for the red bits, it looks extremely industrial and plain. And that's kind of what gives it its character. It's not meant to be flashy, it's just meant to work. And that was how I made Taskmaster Shield from Black Widow. If you like my content and want to see more of it, please make sure to leave a like, comment, definitely subscribe to my channel. Until next time, props to you and costumes too. Peace!